Now, we all know that you dragons like to splash the cash, uh, but recently your fellow dragon, Deborah Meaden, mm. has been bucking that trend and has promised to stop spending all together, well, on new clothes. Yeah, well, reports in the papers today suggest that there has been a 33% increase in the number of people choosing long-lasting quality items That's over good. cheap throwaway fashion. But can Deborah convince shoppers to go that one step further? We live in a culture of consumerism. I'm probably guiltier than most when it comes to filling up my wardrobe with items that hardly see the light of day. So earlier this year, I made a pledge not to buy any clothes, shoes or handbags for 12 months. I made my big announcement on Twitter and many others have also taken to social media to make their own pledges. In January this year, I pledged to do a no buy for three months. That, so that meant not buying any clothes, makeup or skincare. I've pledged to not buy makeup for the whole of 2020. I've always been the type of girl that buys a new outfit every time they go out. And it was just getting out of hand. Becky Dell, though, took it one step further. She went the whole of last year without buying a single unnecessary item. So, Becky, what made you decide to do this? Watching David Attenborough in Blue Planet, and there was this scene of all the plastic swirling around in the ocean, and it really got me thinking about how much we unconsciously consume. Honestly, I remember I was stood in a shop, and there were two pairs of Wellingtons, and I couldn't decide which ones to buy, and I ended up thinking to myself, well, I'll buy both. And at that moment, I thought, I'm, I'm actually going to change. I really hope that it will get people thinking about what it is that they buy. How have you found it? As the year went on, and my socks got holes in them, and my tights got holes in them, that was really tough. So, go on then. At the end of 12 months, what was your first buy? Genuinely, it was socks. Ten past midnight, I bought myself some socks. How glamorous. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Living the high life. In stark contrast, self-confessed shopaholic Catherine Hellings is into her fast fashion inexpensive clothes from mass market retailers. She says she goes shopping for clothes at least twice a week. I absolutely love shopping. And have you ever thought about sustainable shopping? Yes, definitely. But I think when you're actually in the shops, you don't really tend to think about it that much. But for most people, they're not in the privileged position you're in. Um, they don't have a wardrobe full of amazing clothes, but I'm sure you have already. Well, it's true. I mean, I have definitely got too many clothes. But the fact I can buy more clothes and are deciding not to makes my decision to do that, I think, equally as valid. The One Show is bringing frugal fashionista Becky together with queen of fast fashion Catherine here, a vintage clothing store where shoppers buy second-hand clothes by the kilo. But can Catherine be convinced to change her shopping habits? The thing is, I was you a few years ago. I used to buy fast fashion and not think about it. I actually run a fashion Instagram account, so I put a lot of outfits together of that, and I think that's going to be quite challenging. But you could style using stuff from charity shops, getting stuff from vintage shops, like the wonderful place we're in. I bet you could have a fabulous Instagram fashion account without buying anything new. Oh, I don't know. I'm still not totally convinced. Becky and I leave Catherine to browse the aisles and see if anything takes her fancy. Meanwhile, I'm meeting trend forecaster Carla Bazashi, who says shoppers are now looking for more sustainable products than ever before. We are, as consumers, much more aware of our environmental impact than we ever have been. So we've identified a shift in the consumer. What happens to the businesses that don't respond to that? I genuinely think in five, ten years' time, they just won't be around. We're seeing lots of very clever, tech-savvy startups right now who are creating amazing apps, which means that we rent products, we could just have it for the week. And that's a much more sustainable way of having new products in your wardrobe. Carla also says that the retailers are looking at new ideas too. John Lewis recently introduced a clothing recycling scheme where shoppers get money off in exchange for their used items. And H&M is trialling a rental service where customers borrow outfits by the week, although this at the moment is only in Sweden. Catherine has found herself a couple of vintage outfits to add to her wardrobe, but has she been convinced to cut down on the number of new clothes she buys? So have your views changed? Yeah, I think they're gradually changing. I found Becky really inspiring. So what if I was to push you a little further and say, how about a pledge for 12 months of no shopping? So maybe I could do one month. A month? I'll take a month. Shake on it. Okay. Catherine's risen to the challenge. 
And I believe the more people who fight back against the tide of disposable fashion, the sooner the retail landscape will change. So whilst we're only a handful of people, small steps can make big leaps if we all walk in the same direction. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, that was a good film, wasn't it? Thank very you, good, Deborah, very for that. good. Yeah. Now